Okay, uh, hi everyone. Um, this is a new AI game that is completely generated by a, uh, a language model or uh, similar to a st uh, stability dif uh, st stable diffusion. So this is an online demo. You can uh, check it out at oasis.dcart. Dot AI. Um, I'll put the link in the description and you only have very f uh, like maybe a one minute because of course this is a high GPU intensive game but uh, you can jump uh, you can sneak you can hit I haven't played myself um, there you go. <laughs> I was too slow to rip. Um, so basically, you you log in. I'll scroll down. Uh, you log in, and then you actually can upload a different scene, right? So you can check and see what happens um, if you make your own scene. It does. You don't have to play only their game. Of course, this is all open source. So this is uh, very cool by Etched dash AI if you go to open oasis this is mm, the repo if you know how to uh, run this you d it, it looks like you need an Nvidia graphics card um, and of course if you have a Windows computer usually that works better but you have some installation steps that use Python um, you download the model weights basically the the whole model I'm not sure the size we can have a quick look and see what is the size of this model. Uh, he has some actually nice background music. Um, I think you might be able to hear it now. It has a little ambient music. I guess it's always playing no matter if you are in which... Um, in which scene you're in. What kind of file do they support? I'm not sure. I've never played a uh, Minecraft, uh, you know, except for like five minutes a couple of years ago. Um, so the model size, oh, it's actually 2.5 gigs. That is the PT file and the checkpoint, which is something like, no, I'm not gonna pretend I know. It's something specific, I suppose and it's 900 megs okay um, it was released four days ago and that means October 31st and yeah it's really cool um, I don't know if you guys have seen the the Doom 3 demo the Doom uh, sorry not Doom 3 Doom um, generative AI uh, demo. I, I'm not sure if they released the open source code for this or only the, the some videos. There, of course, there's the paper you can check. But yeah, this is all. Of course, there's no audio in. This is an AI model that generates audio right if you want one that generates vid a sound based on uh, what the model is gonna generate then you need something else so that none of these I believe have audio but yeah I might, this is all generated like there's nobody that coded the game and said if you if you shot a thing in cast explore or you know for this door to open you require a key none of that see there's some, some little artifacts that you can see you might see like see like holes here so this is a bit of a giveaway um, I think you'll see some more later uh, this is uh, called game game engine it's one of the first ones that I believe are coming out uh, and really impressive. There's a lot of videos you can check yourself. 
um, and how it was built it really made the, the rounds and yeah people from from Google mainly seemed like uh, they they were part of this but this is a game that you can actually game uh, play yourself let's see if uh, they'll let me play there's a bit of a queue um, oh. oh it's your turn it's my turn okay so if it's my turn there we go let's try another one and to press continue You have uh, a ASD keys. You use the mouse to move 360, space to jump, control to run, E to invent, and then you have items. You have sneak. Okay. Hold a uh, Q plus or Q, Q or the click to 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 come. Come on. I have five minutes left, but I am not able to bloody... Oh, here we go. Cool. So I'm in this other scene. I can jump. Let's find some things to hit. Where are we? Oh, see, also the... Notice the, the life and a little heart at the bottom those have to be everything everything that you see in this square has to be generated see there's some little artifacts but here you knew i had to go down there's a lot of plants so it might be not the best place are you guys seeing anything i can hit Let's run with control. Oh. So we're going down. Come on, I have three minutes left. <laughs> Otherwise I need to put more coins or get back in the queue. You guys remember the coins in the arcade games? I'm not sure how old are you. Oh! Let's hit this cow thing here that it seems dead inventory nice oh even the, oh some somebody's coming close the inventory oh no okay maybe I'm what does e mean This I didn't need to. They need to improve this part, but actually, see, it takes a second. But then it is kind of like, and because you have a mouse that also moves around, so you have to keep track of a cursor. That's, that's more complicated. You know, you have a menu that it has to react to the position of the cursor, and it has to be trained on video that it has done and all the iterations. Um, on all of this so well this is a lot of things that need to be be trained on video wise anyway let's keep exploring there's something that looked like fire but no some rocks there let's go a little faster Anyway, I think this is enough for today. Um, this is really cool. Um, you can kill a zombie and have rotten meat, explode a creeper, get shot by a skeleton, and punch the ender dragon oh what's happening now the jump yeah okay so it, it notes a bit of the logic of the physics here um if it's too high okay this is 
hallucinating. <laughs> Can I? There's no drop here. Oh, there is a drop. Oh, shoot. I don't know if you can die by falling in this game. Anyway, that's it. You guys can go ahead and play by yourselves and enjoy. Of course, you can download uh, this and see if it works on your computer. Uh, there's some kind of contest here on Reddit. Yeah, that's it for today. Bye-bye.